is good, everybody, my Paper Moon fam. It's your boy, Paper Sin, back with another reaction video. This one is called The Perks of Being Black. Now you understand why I had to do this one, because I just don't get it. I'm sorry, what? The perks of being black? What? We have perks? Nobody told me this. Nobody. It's like, what? Anyway, it's by the YouTube channel, Atronos. Atronos? Atronos. So let's go ahead and check them out. The perks of being black. Single fight video is always oh. two or more. Being black in America comes with many flaws. One of the flaws being that every time you're driving on the road, you'd always have a target on your back waiting for you to break a traffic law. Or sometimes even just having your music too loud. <laughs> then you get stopped by a cop on the side of the road. He asks for your license and registration. Then one thing leads to another and well, you know what happens next. Yeah. But you didn't click this video to hear about the flaws of being black, but instead you wanted to hear about the perks or benefits, if you will. Now, Those honest, perks? Picking out the perks of having melanized skin was tough, but after a while, I'm sure. I finally garnered enough to make this video. The first one being the obvious, you can say Nick. Nick, uh, you ain't funny. That's not true. Maybe you're just boring as fuck. Anyways, I've chosen this first perk due to the I mean... way it holds. It doesn't matter what <laughs> situation you find yourself in. If you're black and you're arguing with someone of another race, it's an instant W for you. Because no matter how badly you're losing the argument you can always be nigga. Anywhere, before or after your next sentence it adds a hundred times more emphasis to any point you're trying to make therefore you'd gain respect and leverage in the argument and not only that but the fact that pretty much everybody of any other race would love to say this word if given that's the true that's would say it it gives being black a whole new definition of empowerment and if you think i'm lying here's undoubtable 4k evidence made by jadeon you fail out fail out proud do i get another one? Oh yeah my bad my bad what's up my nigga my nigga. My nigga. Just say it with me. My nigga. My nigga. My, my nigga. My nigga. My nigga. We oh my god. <laughs> we are niggas. We are niggas. Hey, nigga. Like, bro, look at this man smile. Oh I my god. Since Tony Lens is infamous picture. Anyway, back <laughs> to the video. The next perk of a black person that I want to talk about is the hair. Bro. I mean, he's, he's not wrong, though. So many people want to say that word. And you know they say it behind closed doors. You know they say it behind closed doors. Not everybody is stupid enough to say it while live streaming like Aiden Ross. You know what I'm saying? I mean... But it's, it's like, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you know people want to say that word. And you know they say it behind closed doors. So I guess, I guess you can call that, you know, a, a privilege, a perk of being black. Black people might honestly have some of the best hair out of any other race, but it really depends on the person and how well they take care of it. The picture you're currently looking at is me a little over three years ago. Y yeah, I, I know. Listen, listen, it was a phase, all right? Please keep all negative comments to yourself. No. But my point in showing this horrific picture is to show the difference between taking care of your hair and not taking care of your hair. Also, the, the variety of hairstyles that we have is honestly unreal. It can range from the classic waves, dreads, curls, two strand twists, and and whatever the f this is. <laughs> the about the hair of a melanized Negro is that it can really turn a four into a seven just off hair alone. Now, with that being said, I can go ahead and transition into the third perk of this video. Before he gets to that, just to, just to, I, mean, I know y'all don't really know because I always have my hair tied back. And you know what I'm saying? They all saying, I got, you know, my shit, but I have natural dreads. I just let my shit grow. And you know what I'm saying? Just natural dreads. You feel me? Natural shit. You probably can't really see it on the on the camera. Eh. Natural shit. You feel me? Can you see it now? Yeah. Anyway, I got the natural dress. That's what I'm rocking. You know, if you feel me, so and I love them. You know what I'm saying? I, I people have tell have told me, man, I wish I had your hair and shit like that. You know, what I'm I get I get compliments every now and then, but I'm, I'm chilling with it. You feel me? 
which is the game of a black person or Riz. Now listen, I personally wouldn't know sh about this, but from the experiences that I've seen with my own two eyes, I've seen a tremendous difference in game between the average black guy Swag, and the average basically. guy of any other race. And let me tell you, the gap is honestly bigger than Meat Mill's phantom that couldn't fit in the parking lot. And that's saying something. For example, the fact that a 10 out of 10 white guy could go up to a girl and ask for a number and get rejected, but a n looking like he just came off the streets of Chirac can go up to the same girl 10 minutes later <laughs> and secure that number faster than it takes for you to blink is honestly ridiculous. Now Swag. this specific perk doesn't attain to all black people like me. But for the ones <laughs> that it does attain to, their game and getting girls far exceeds any other race that I've ever seen. Now with that being said, I want you to close your eyes real quick. I want you to think back to all of the greatest fighters and warriors in history. I want you to think of the race of that person that you're thinking of. Now tell me, what race is he? Black? No. Shit, I'd hope so. The reason yeah. why I asked you to do this is because this is actually the next perk I'm about to talk about, which okay. is being able to throw hands like no other. Bro, y'all can't tell me the majority of niggas don't have some of the craziest hands you've ever seen. Like literally every Shout single to the fight, there's always two or more black people boxing like the next six generations <laughs> of their family lives depend on it. Now, can you really see how good the fight is? N no. Is it because <laughs> the person recording the fight is always having a seizure mid-filming? <laughs> Yes, but regardless whether it's in person or on video the fights that black people display are truly something else I mean look at the Davis and Garcia fight I'm pretty sure hella people were rooting for Davis to lose but that man Davis hit him with the meanest liver shot I've ever seen and another thing every time y'all see a black person fighting any other race You can't lie to me and tell me that you don't always root for the black person deep down Because every time I see a black person lose a fight to someone of another race people always say Oh, no, nah, his black car revoked <laughs> He can't say no more. That man may as well be a Caucasian. The standard held in regards to fighting when it comes to being black is held higher than Snoop Dogg is on a casual Tuesday. This is good. really not fair. And on the topic of things not being fair, I want to talk about the athleticism of black people as well. I don't know what some of us are mean... saying nowadays, but it really feels like the average 13 year old African American today can hoop better than a senior in high school back in the 80s. Also, another point I want to make on this topic is the fact that almost every top level sports player you can name is it's black. black. <laughs> And that really says something. I mean, I really don't think I need to go deep into the NBA. I mean, look, numbers don't lie. But look at American football, though. Bro, almost any high school you go to, at least 90% of the players are black. Or at least have some sort of black origin in them. I mean, shit, bro. Tennis, too. The only two Serena players in yeah. sport is Serena and Venus Williams. Yeah. And guess what? They're both black. And don't <laughs> think I forgot about soccer, either. Sure, maybe the best player isn't black, but one of the okay. top 10 players is. Oh, no, shit. Ain't gonna lie. Baseball and hockey got it. I honestly Yeah, they got that. The they got that. I've ever heard a black person play either of those sport <laughs> I stand corrected. Okay, 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 but surely golf isn't dominated by a Tiger black Woods. <laughs> <laughs> black people are truly some of the most athletically gifted people I've ever seen. Now for the last and final perk. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like it's it's in our genes or something, bro. It's in the, it's in our blood. Like we, I don't know, man. It's it's just it's just something we do. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's like nature's way of giving us reparations for all the shit our ancestors have been through. Maybe it's like that. Or maybe it's just something we've always had ever since the beginning of time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh yeah, this race, this race right here, these, these, these dudes, these, these dudes with the dark skin, oh, pff, bro, they go in. You know what I'm saying? Got up there with his angels talking about, you see them? You see, yeah, you see them? You see them? Yeah. You gonna walk, as time passes, you gonna walk, keep an eye on that, the, them right there. The, yeah. Yeah. They go in my, they don't go through some shit. You know what I'm saying? But, bruh. Yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even play sports like that, but I'm pretty sure I can still whoop, whoop most uh, other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I get it in too. For this video, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Yep, thank you, thank you. The eats. Uh, or the mm. food, whatever you want to call it. If you've ever been to a cookout, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. I was going to say music. Honest, I've probably only been to around two cookouts because I'm actually from the motherland. I'm not actually African-American, which is why <laughs> most of these perks don't really attain to me. But from the times that I've had food cooked by an African-American, it hit every single time. I remember this Bruh, one time a friend be of crazy. mine had to cook a whole container of rice for one of her classes. I have no idea why. Please don't ask. But she decided mm. to bring plates for me and a few other people. And let me tell you.
show you the rice that i consumed that day took me to the moon and back i was eating that <laughs> shit like goku was when he came out the time later. <laughs> now the food made by black people is great and all but the thing that makes it taste so good is the seasonings they add because i might be from the motherland but i really don't add anything crazy to my food but these motherfuckers go crazy with their seasonings bro they be using some name brand seasonings that i've never heard of in my life I'm like what the hell is slap your mama seasoning bro? <laughs> now when it does come to the top level chefs in the world i will not lie gordon ramsay got that one in the bag i gotta give him credit in fact i've actually invited ramsay to come give y'all a message what's up you donuts it's gordon ramsay here. ai Honestly, to ai what gordon to say to you is how the fuck have you managed to make it this far in the video and didn't press the like button yet are you an idiot sandwich mate mom man you're better than this my Anyways, bad my bad this is the end of the video make sure you subscribe and comment any perks uh trainers might have missed in this video mm. uh and click this video if you're a real ass nigga anyways that's all from me gordon rams did he, did he, he really had AI Gordon Ramsay say the N-word? <laughs> oh my god, bro. This was a pretty good video, you know what I'm saying? And like, like one of the, obviously one, <laughs> one of the things that I imagine, uh, thought he was going to touch on was obviously music. That and maybe is and dancing and you know what I'm saying? Like, just overall blackness. Anyway, now nah, he, he he covered a lot of good shit, you know what I'm saying? But these uh perks can often, in my opinion, can often also be like you you gotta make sure you you up you stay up on your perks, you know what I'm saying? Cause like like he said about the fighting thing, if he ever sees a, if they ever see a black person lose a fight, oh no, nah, his black card revoked. You gotta get you gotta get that one up. You know what I'm saying? If you can't dance as a black person, your black card gonna be revoked. If you can't, you know what I'm saying? If you can't ball as a black person, you know what I'm saying? You, you might just, they might just call you a nerd instead. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's almost like a double-edged sword, but they, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you bought your black card, you be booked. But it's not like you actually ain't black no more. It's not that serious. But, yeah, I, I guess these are, you know, these are some perks of being black, you know? But uh, it's still like, now you have to ask yourself, you have to ask yourself, do the perks outweigh the flaws? That's a tough question, to be honest. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these good, <laughs> I'm not going to say this was a pretty good video. It made me laugh a lot. So make sure you check out Atronos. So as always, link to this video and link to this channel will both be in the description below. So go ahead and visit Atronos. You know what I'm saying? And while you're there, don't forget to do those three things I like to ask you to do. And like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know where it is after that. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace. And much love to you.